Hey there mga coolmate, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're watching Kuljani Review and this is NJ. So for today's review, we're going to talk about the Intel Core i7 12th generation. So guys, let's get started. Alder Lake is the Intel's first serious step in the worlds of the hybrid architectures, combining a new high-performance CPU architecture, P-Cores. With the smaller efficient cores, also known as the E-Cores, it is better performance and enhanced performance per watt. This is the first look at 12th gen core mobile processor starting with the Core i7-12700H. The Alder Lake H series targets a high-performance laptops while also bringing a range of a new platform advantages including the DDR5 support and the B4C integrated GPU and the other connectivity improvements. Intel claims that this new processor should be the fastest even seen for the mobile computing. The Core i7-12700H is the lowest chip in this stock that still provides the full complement of CPU cores found in Intel H series die, making it a compelling option. The 12800H and the 12900H and 12900H key set above it are essentially just clock speed improvements. So mga kakulmate, the Core i7 12th generation of the Intel has only 11-12% to increase in performance compared to 11th generation of the previous year. So if you're from 11th generation Core i7, I think it is not yet recommended for you to upgrade for the 12th generation but still it's up to you. But if you're coming from i3 or i5 and you're planning to upgrade your processor, we all know that the i7 will give you a better performance compared to Core i5. So the Core i7 12th generation processor not only focus on the gaming performance but also the other task. The Core i7 12700H is the fastest laptop that has been tested, beating all other contenders including the Ryzen 9 5900HX and the Apple's M1 Pro even when run at just 45 watts. This represents a 27% performance improvement over the Core i7 11800H or the 11th generation, a 21% improvement on the Ryzen 7 5800H and a 12% gain on the Ryzen 9 5900HX. It is also 8% faster than Apple Silicon, though the M1 Pro uses a bit less power in this workload. But among the X86 pack, the 12700H appear to be the best processor in terms of performance per watt in this workload. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos and if you want more, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updates from our coolmates. See you in my next video.